Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create metric point cloud just from a single image. This video will be very useful for people who would like to start their career or improve knowledges in 3D computer vision. To do this, uh, we will use a very powerful tool and model provided for the called Depth Anything. Uh, it's uh, based on the uh, very powerful depth estimation. Uh, for example, they already have a new version too that is super realistic and super high quality depth estimation. First, we are going to check the uh, depth NEC in version 2 to check the quality of depth estimation and then we will switch to try to create some metric point cloud and uh, uh, measure some metrics, how accurate is it. So here the Hugging Face uh, page of Dev Anything version 2 and we will use two kind of images, first kind of outdoor images uh, with the car that was trained based on Kitty dataset and the second one is the uh, indoor dataset with the images and depth of the indoor uh, environment. So let's start. Let's start with the, uh, here I create some images uh, of the room uh, and we are putting uh, it to the model and uh, compute the depth. Yeah, here we have a very, so it is a chair, the door, everything is very sharp uh, and also the TV here, everything is super detailed and uh, with a uh, high quality. So let's test also the outdoor images that we will use in the, our next iteration for creating metric uh, point cloud. Let's put some like car from some uh, outdoor environment and check the quality. Yeah, finally, you could notice that the depth estimation is also very detailed, even the leaves of the trees, is the, the background, the cars, so everything is Perfect. And based on this technology, I would like to show you how to create your own metric scanning, metric scanning in point cloud of your room or outdoor environment. Let's move to the code. Yeah, here is the depth of point cloud code that uh, that are using two kinds of models, uh, pre-train models, depth anything metric depth indoor or outdoor, as that are specialized for the outdoor or indoor environment. So in the beginning, you should to specify focal lengths for uh, both attics. To do this, uh, you could uh, use this simple calibration for camera. You need to print it chessboard and do uh, 20, 30 or more captures, run the calibration, I will add the code for calibration to create a calibration file to extract and use these parameters for further accurate estimation of depth and all matrix values. Then you will specify the input output data, you highlight the data set type, for example uh, NYU for indoor or Kitty for outdoor, uh, then the code will uh, extract uh, all images from the folder, uh, run the model, uh, and then convert the output from the model to the X, Y, and Z theta uh, coordinates uh, in the environment. So, mm, let's run. So, you can see that the code is super simple, and we could run it and test the quality. Yeah, process is finished. So let's go and check our results. And uh, of course, in this video, we'll go a little bit more from the computer and we will check the real world. Uh, we will calculate the depth in real world. So let's go to results. I would like to show first the uh, indoor outputs. Uh, you could see that the, the room is very detailed. Of course, the chair is a little bit noisy because it has a very thin uh, parts, but general shapes like the doors, uh, the shape of wall is very, very accurate. Uh, also the same you could see for the, uh, for another, for another type of uh, room scanning. Okay, now let's move to the outdoor outputs. Yeah, here you can see the car. 
So the, the car and the road is very detailed and the shape is very accurate. Also the, like, the tree that I'm clothed is also uh, on the correct position and the shape. Of course, the like, very far object is uh, noisy, but still, if you would like to use like maybe uh, clothes five up to 10 meters, the quality will be super high. And I would like to compare their real life sizes and depths uh, with their uh, sizes in the, this point club. So let's use the ruler and measure, for example, the length of the car. Yeah, and here we have like three meter and a half. And in real life, here is the ruler in real life. And let's check. So the real length is near 380. So it's more or less accurate. Let's move to another, let's move, measure the, let's try another, let's try another image. So we have 4.1 again with the 380 is again up to four meters. So it's quite accurate. Let's try uh, the same measurement for the indoor objects. Let's check this room. And for example, I would like to measure this size. And it's uh, 0 0.87. And uh, in real life, the size is 80 centimeters. So we have 80 versus uh, 97. Let measure the height of the, for example, let's check uh, the second capture and measure, for example, the chair size. It is quite noisy, but uh, just to have more or less, and it is more or less 0 0.43 meters uh, versus, uh, versus 40 in real life. So, you could see that this instrument is really high, have a high efficient to compute the depth in, met, in meter system. It will be extremely useful for your home projects. So you could scan the room or outdoor environment for the car for cell driving industry and test your own ideas by just with the one single camera. You don't need a LiDAR sensor, nothing, just to begin. So it means that uh, the depth anything create a super useful tool that provide an opportunity for engineer to train their idea without uh, uh, special equipment to start to study, try your ideas, try you know, new methods uh, and grow and improve your skills. So I hope you enjoy uh, this video and uh, yeah, please like it, put the comments and see you in the next parts. Bye.